Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rossi and this is my son. Today I want to do a first impressions of the Alomar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette. I received this palette in June and I've only gone as far as swatching it for photos. So I thought I should finally use it for the very first time. Yes, I am ashamed of myself for waiting this long, but life gets in the way. I already have a lot of ideas in my head about what kind of looks I want to create with this palette. I am gonna start posting more pictorials from here on out, um, just because you guys love them and um, I miss doing them, I enjoy doing them. So let's just hope that whatever looks I have in mind, I'm able to create. <laughs> As always, don't mind any background noises. My son is in my room here playing, just being himself, and I wanna let him express himself too, so hopefully you're not bothered by that. I'm sure everybody has already seen this palette. It's very bright yellow packaging, and it wasn't until I opened it that I was like, this is absolutely gorgeous. It features eight intensely pigmented shades, ranging from delicate shimmers, high shine metallics, and velvety mattes. It's just so very tropical, and I mean the shades, even the shades are very tropical. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you can either see like a little water droplet or the sun next to the shades, and basically um, the water droplet just means that you can use those wet, and the other ones can only be used dry, obviously. As I've mentioned, I've already swatched these, and I was very, very impressed by them, but I still have you to try it on the eyes. So I do want to go ahead and do that today. I thought that before I get started, I could swatch this palette for you. So I'm going to swatch La Costa first. Next, I'm going to swatch Malecon. Next is Varadero. Oh my god. This one is so gorgeous. Oh my God, so pigmented. I know that I said that I've already swatched these and I have, but I forgot like how pigmented they were. So if you see me surprised, it's actually very genuine because I don't remember them. I literally swatched them weeks ago, like back in June and we are in August right now. Next, I'm swatching Celia. I think that Celia is probably my favorite shade, like even just looking at it in the pan. In the pan, it looks a little bit darker, but it just looks so beautiful. It reminds me of that nice, cool, clear waters that you see in the beaches. Oh my God, just all around beautiful. Next is Coco Taxi. Next is Tropico. Next is Guantanamera. So this one feels a little bit drier than the other two. This one also had a little bit of fallout, so I'm gonna have to be really careful with that. So let's just try the last one, Cafecito. Ooh, this is a really dark brown one. So there. I know my swatches are really crappy, but um, <laughs> there you have it. I'm gonna grab a brush and um, get it a little bit wet with some setting spray so that I can swatch the other ones wet for you. We're gonna do... La Costa again. I can barely see it. Next is El Malecón. So this is wet and this is dry. But I am not liking this brush, so I think I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna swatch Varadero. Look at that pigmentation. That is ridiculous. Lastly, Celia. They're feeling a little bit chalky when I use my fingers. It's just so beautiful. You guys. <laughs> Look at the difference just right here. Mommy. Yes, Mommy. baby. Daddy's here. He's here? But yeah, look at that. Beep, 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 beep. That's amazing. I'm gonna go take off these swatches and prime my eyes and get them ready. My husband is almost here. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover while I do my makeup and I will come back and do first impressions um, when I'm done. So I'll be back. Okay, just as I thought, my son got too excited when his dad got home so it was far too noisy for me to talk through in the video. So I'm switching over to voiceover for a little bit. Let's get started with this mini tutorial. I'm going to use Coco Taxi and apply that right above my crease because I want to create a gradient and I'm slowly building up the color and making sure to blend it so there's no harsh lines. And look who decided to make an appearance. 
For those of you who don't know, this is my dog Sophie. She's so cute and friendly and I just love her so much. Back to makeup, I'm dipping my brush into Tropico and I applied that right on the crease. I'm blending it into Coco Taxi. Both of these shades are beautiful and blended perfectly. Then I'm applying Celia into the eyelid. I initially tried to do this with a brush, but my brush didn't pick up the shadow well, so I used my finger instead. I used a wet brush to apply Celia more closely to my crease and that worked out okay. I went off camera to do my face makeup and now I'm using Coco Taxi and applying it on my lower lash line. Now I'm using Tropico and applying it only on my outer lash line and blending it towards the middle. To finish off the eyes, I'm curling my lashes, applying mascara, adding a small wing, tight lining with a black eyeliner pencil, and applying a bright aqua eyeliner on my waterline to open up my eyes a bit. And going back into the palette, I'm using the shade La Costa to highlight the brow bone and inner corner. I'm finishing off the entire look with the Girlactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Posh and done. Okay guys, so the look is finished. This is what I came up with for my very first look. It's simple and I meant to do it simple just because I wanted to see more or less how the palette performs. The mattes blend amazing and they create such a beautiful gradient. I know my makeup skills are not as good, but even for somebody like me who loves makeup and it's not quite there yet, you can make these shades work for you just fine. When I swatched them, they were so pigmented and that translated well into the eyes. This metallics will have a little bit of fallout and it seemed as these two mattes on the bottom will have some fallout as well, more than these two. As for the shimmery ones, I thought that it was better to apply with my finger. I feel like in that way, it made it more vibrant and more pigmented. Love this palette so much. I am so glad to have gotten it in my BoxyCharm. And I am so sorry for those of you that follow me on my blog that it took me so long to try this one. And I promise you that I will have the review up in just a couple of weeks once I finish um, trying it out a little bit more. As I mentioned earlier, I do want to keep doing pictorials on my blog, so make sure that you follow me over there because I will be using this palette just to keep trying it out. Also because I want to keep creating a few more summery looks before summer is over. But yes, so far I give this palette a thumbs up. I'm so excited to come up with more looks and hopefully you like this look. But that is it you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope to see some of you over on my blog. If you got this palette, I would love to know your thoughts as well down in the comments or over on my blog. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. See the rainbow. See the rainbow. Wee.